All right, Keith, it was a nice day. No rain to speak of, but we've certainly yeah, yeah. had our share. Yeah, we had a lot of rain last night, and there's still some showers in the mountains, but the coast mm. has had a really, really pleasant day. Um, we're all going to get on the same page the next few days, and it's going to be a happy. You, you know what you'll see in the seven days? Like, what what tangent am I going to go on over the next few days? Because there isn't a whole lot of oh, oh there weather. Are a lot of options. Buckle in. Yeah. Brian suddenly takes a couple of PTO days. Right. He was thinking about I'm not sticking around <laughs> with this. <laughs> Uh, oh wait, we have something first. Yeah. Why don't you hit me with that? That's you know I'm going to forget. That's why I prompted you, you with the know I'm rain. Gonna forget. Yeah. Okay, I want to show you this. It's almost like she said You something. already went you off on your this? tangent. That you were trying to get me into that. Yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, well this is this is interesting. Um, Jim Cantore tweeted this out today and I noticed it included in Portland that a lot of cities are basically approaching their yearly averages for rain already. So you see Portland is on the top of that. I'm kind of offended that they had to put Maine, but then they didn't put Massachusetts for Boston. See that? Ooh, see, I is see, that yeah. Well, because there's another Cause Portland. Know, another yeah. Portland, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, is there another Providence? I don't know. Anyways, so we've got about 43 inches of rain. Uh, the yearly average for the whole year is 48. And don't forget, guys, that fall is our statistically wettest time of the year. People think it's spring. It's not. It's fall. So. We've got a while to go, and we're about 10 inches above average for rain. Some of that came last night. Showers continuing into the mountains and foothills, even a couple of breaking off and moving close to the coastline into the midcoast. So a couple of late day showers and spots that haven't seen any today coming through. You can see the sun, consistent southern coastal Maine especially, but a lot of the rest of the state has been variable in cloud cover, in and out of the clouds, and we've been pretty socked in into the mountains. Temperatures low 70s along the coast, but look where we've been stuck in the clouds, 50s even during the middle of the day, but definitely a fallish vibe there. So the showers die down tonight, and we go partly cloudy to mostly clear by tomorrow morning. And then we're just kind of cruising. I mean, there'll be slight variations in these days. For example, I think tomorrow's more par partly cloudy, and I think Thursday's more mostly sunny. But other than that, we're looking at about 70 or so during the daytime for a high. Overnight lows drop down into the 50s, and in a couple of cases, into the 40s by Thursday morning. But any Thursday is sunny, right around 70 again. We'll do it again on Friday. So if you're going to repeat a pattern, this is a good one to repeat. It's all because of a ridge of high pressure. We talked about how that ridge was going to be fighting with a low Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. And I still think this is a little closer than it looks. So if you look at our seven day, you look at your app, I oh, don't recommend it, but if you look at your app, you'll see, okay, it's gonna be sunny on Saturday, but it's closer than it appears. And the reason is that high is just barely fighting off this low. So watch this high right here sit over us for a couple of days. Here we are Saturday afternoon, high is holding on. It's like a, just barely, and the showers are just to our south. So I think we got to keep watching late Saturday afternoon. I think we're going to be okay, but that's pretty close for Saturday late afternoon into Saturday night. Temperature trend here, nothing too interesting, right around 70 down into the 60s over the weekend. So I think the weekend is going to hinge a little bit, guys, on how much that moisture can intrude. If we get all of the day on Saturday and most of the day Sunday, that's great but watching the storm still Sunday. I don't think it's going to be rainy on Sunday, just to be clear, but there might be some showers involved. And I think Saturday, at the very least, we'll see the high thin clouds from that low to our south. That's where it is nice to have context sometimes, because if you just look at the seven day, you don't realize how close right. that is. And, and that's so, an improvement from yesterday. Yeah, I think we're, yeah. I think we're doing it's better. Cool. I just want to watch Saturday afternoon. Probably another day. I hate to do it to you. Just one more day. Okay. That's fine. Thank you, Keith.